Hi, I'm Shanna Lewis, Principal at St. Charles North High School. And I'm Jim Richter, Principal at St. Charles East High School. We're excited to share information about the academic high school course selection process to continue your pathway to excellence. You will have the opportunity to view recorded presentations from our Assistant Principals of College and Career, Matt Gill and John Peters, as well as recorded presentations from teachers from each high school department about the courses available to you. You'll meet with your high school counselors next week to finalize your course choices and we will begin to build a schedule for you that meets your needs and interests for your freshman year. Once boundaries are finalized, you will be invited to each high school for an in-person opportunity to learn more about the various clubs, activities, and athletics available to you in high school. Until then, we hope that you find this information to be helpful to you and invite you to reach out to our high school department chairs with any questions about course levels or electives. Hello, class of 2028 students and parents. My name is John Peters and I'm the Assistant Principal for College and Career Readiness at St. Charles North High School. We began the course selection process back in November when the high school counselors visited both middle schools to talk with eighth grade students about high school classes and the steps they need to take to learn about and choose courses for their freshman year. In December, videos were shared with students highlighting different classes and programs. These videos can be accessed on both the North and East websites. Currently, students should be making decisions on their course selections and entering these into Home Access Center in preparation for the counselor's return to the middle schools next week on either Wednesday or Thursday. It is important that students have selections entered into Home Access Center prior to these meetings. They can then ask questions at the meeting to clarify courses or levels. In February, a list of students' selections will be emailed to students and parents for verification. If everything is good, then no action is required. If there are changes, then the high school must be contacted no later than February 16th. Courses selected at either high school are the same and easily transfer from one to the other. To help prepare you for, to select courses, let's take a look at graduation requirements. On the left side of this chart, you see what courses are required by District 303. And on the right, we have included what many colleges and universities would like to see a student take in high school. This largely includes additional courses in math, science, and social studies. Electives, fine arts, and world languages vary by school and major. Here, you see a typical schedule for a freshman in District 303. English, either standard or honors. Most freshmen will take either biology, either standard or honors, but a few of you have taken biology already at the middle school and will most likely be taking either standard or honors chemistry. For math, you will continue to the next level where, from where you are currently enrolled. Social studies has several options. Contemporary world issues can be taken at either standard or honors level. This course looks at events happening in our world now or in recent history from political, economic, geographic, and social lenses. AP Human Geography is similar, but taught at a college level. World History and Geography is only offered at the standard level and looks at events from the more distant past. Similarly, AP World History is also taught at a higher level. All students take a half period of lunch split with a half period of study hall. PE is required every semester in high school. Freshmen will take PE one for one semester and then either health or if they qualify and choose so, driver education. Students who take driver ed will take health as sophomores. The remaining two periods are filled with electives. These could be music classes or world language or any of our other offerings listed in the course offering book. Students only have to take six classes. This will keep them on track to graduate on time and they will have room for a full period study hall if desired. This can be for a whole year or just a semester. For example, many students choose a study hall during a semester where they are involved in a time-consuming sport or activity. Freshmen who turn 15 prior to January 7th, 2025 are eligible to take driver education during the spring of their freshman year. There is limited seating and students will be enrolled based on birthday order. If you choose to take driver education privately, you can opt out for health instead. When choosing courses in Home Access Center, driver education will not be an option and all students should choose PE1 and health. I'd like to now turn things over to my colleague from across the river to share some information with you about resources 
we have available to help you making these selections. Thank you, Mr. Peters. My name is Matt Gill, Assistant Principal for College and Career Readiness at St. Charles East High School. I want to welcome all of you as you look to begin your high school career in D303. Specifically, I will be reviewing with you what resources you have at your disposal to pick your classes and what factors to consider when selecting academic levels. As you can see, we've provided a link to the East High School Academic Planning page and the North High School Course Selection page where you can find all of the resources necessary to pick your classes. Specifically, you're going to find the following resources. Your appointment time, directions to enter course requests into HAC, the 8th grade worksheet, the course offering book, and course plans by a career pathway. We highly recommend that you check out all of these resources found on the CCR website. The 8th grade worksheet looks like this and was distributed by your counselor back in November when we made our initial visit to the middle schools. If you've misplaced your worksheet, you can go to the CCR website or you can ask your middle school counselor for another copy. Please bring your completed worksheet to your counselor appointment next week. When filling out the worksheet, please select the appropriate level for your core area classes here. Then, identify the preferred elective choices down here. Please also be sure to include backup electives in preferential order in the event one of your preferred electives is not available. On the back page of the 8th grade worksheet, you will find all of the course options that are available to freshman students. Next, this is the home page of our course offering book or COB. Please consult this resource to get a course description for each of the classes that are offered at the high school. We offer over 250 courses at the high school with 39 honors level courses as well as 34 AP courses. The Fox Valley Career Center serves as an extension of our vocational courses and we also offer dual credit classes through Elgin Community College and the College of DuPage. The course offering book also contains additional information about grading as well as scheduling guidelines. Another great resource is our course plan by career pathway. When reviewing this while picking courses, this spreadsheet will allow you to search by career cluster. This will help determine which courses might be the best fit for you. Specifically, the spreadsheet reviews the graduation requirements, college-bound recommendations, pathway recommended courses, other suggested electives, as well as clubs and activities that you might consider joining based on your career interests. Be purposeful when making your elective selections. You are, after all, building your high school resume. You might consider an elective based on the following. Maybe you want to select an elective that supports an academic weakness. Perhaps you want to go the other direction, expand your academic transcript with a little more rigor. Perhaps you want to introduce a new skill, or you might want to enhance or expand an existing talent that you have. One such, one such elective program is our Project Synergy program. As you can see, this is a four-year program that offers courses in engineering, math, as well as science. You can explore engineering fields such as aerospace, mechanical, civil, and electrical. The program includes a summer experience as well as capstone courses and internship opportunities. More information will be sent to all students by January 19th and more information about Project Synergy can be located in the appendix of our course offering book. So how do I know if I'm ready for an honors or an AP level course? Consider your answers to the following questions. Is there an academic area in which I really excel? Are my standardized test scores in the top 5% or better in a particular subject area? Do I like to challenge myself? Am I a disciplined student? How is my work ethic? 
Do I complete all my homework assignments to the best of my ability? How well do I manage my time? You're going to find that soft skills are just as important as your intellectual skills when making this decision. What academic level works best for me? We would say that balance is the key. We encourage you to consider how you anticipate balancing your academics, family, athletic activities, and other responsibilities. We also have provided and linked here the eighth grade placement guide. This can help assist you and your family when making the decision on what level is an appropriate level of rigor for you. At the end of this eighth grade placement guide, you're going to find some important contact information. All of our department chairs' names and contact information is provided if you should happen to need more details about a particular course. Also, feel free to contact your counselor. Counselor contact information is located on the home page of the CCR website. Again, we are looking, uh, we're looking forward to meeting with all of you next week to select your classes and to begin your high school career. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gill. Hopefully the information in this video and on our website will help you to make these choices. Home Access Center will continue to be open through next Tuesday so that you can choose your courses there. Uh, and please have those, remember to have those done before we come back on Wednesday or Thursday to the middle schools. If you have any questions about academic levels with a content area or about courses themselves, please feel free to email or call any of our department chairs and they'll be able to help you with these questions. Thank you, and we look forward to having you at the high school next year.